guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a pretty much a review and demo and maybe some swatches of the new Game of Thrones Urban Decay collab. This is the palette. I want to talk about this palette like really really fast. This was so hard for me to get my hands on. I literally, I was wanting the whole vault and I couldn't get my hands on it. It sold out pretty much as soon as it got on the Urban Decay website. I swear to you it wasn't like five minutes and the whole vault was sold out and pretty much they had the items separately too if you didn't want to buy the vault and everything was sold out i tried to get the vault on macy's i tried to get the vault on i think they had brought it to ulta and i had tried to get it they had brought it online at ulta and i had tried to get it and i couldn't get my hands on it so this collection is just very very hard to get your hands on i ended up picking it up at my local ulta well the closest one to me the one that i worked at but when i went in store to grab this palette literally there was only four palettes left and then they had two lipsticks left but it was the same shade so um pretty much everything was gone the brushes the the drops for like the blush and the lip tint everything was gone the highlighting palette so this collection was very hard to get a hold of but like i said when i went there they had four palettes left and i ended up picking up one i felt like out of everything in this collection the thing that really stood out to me was not only just the palette but the eyeliners the eyeliners are very unique and gorgeous and they have metallic finishes some of them do anyway and that was really calling to me but unfortunately i couldn't get my hands on those at least right now my old so like I said, they only had a, a, like four of these palettes and then they had two lipsticks left. Out of like the whole thing, out of the whole thing. So I'm a little bitter about that. But I am going to do a review today on this palette. I am going to do some swatches and I'm going to test it out here on my eyes. By the way, I want to mention what I'm wearing on my lips because I absolutely love it. I love this color. I'm a red lip person in general, but that's what it looks like. I wanted to give you guys a little close up. I'm wearing Maybelline. It is a matte in the shade Red For Me 382. This is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys. I absolutely love Maybelline lipsticks and I love the way that they smell as well. Great formula. It feels really nice on my lips. So I don't have any other updates to tell you guys except Set. I'm sorry that my video, my last video, took forever to get up. I had to have my computer fixed. My computers aggravate me to death, and it's very hard for me to get videos up right now, but I'm going to keep trying for you guys. But other than that, this is what the palette looks like. Very, very cool. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys and let you know I'm not a Game of Thrones fan. I think it's something that I would like. It's just I've never took the time to watch it, so I don't know anything about Game of Thrones. So I'm not judging it for like, like this goes good with this character. This color was good for this character because honestly, I don't know. I've never seen it. I don't know anything about it. So, so me personally, in my review, I'm just testing it for, I'm judging it on the quality and how they blend and just things like that. I'm not really judging it on. This was a good color for that, so you know. But again, this is what it looks like. And then it opens up here in the front and it has like a quote, it has a saying, I'm gonna blind you guys. And then obviously you guys have probably already seen it, but this little thing lifts up and then you have this, whatever that is. And then it has a quote underneath that. And then this is the good part. This is where the palette completely pulls out. So this is what this looks like again, cause I'm not gonna be picking this up anymore. I'm gonna be testing this. This pulls out and it has all of these shadows. Now each of these are like in a category for whatever dragons, I don't know, I don't know. So up here you have more of a cooler, it's like cooler tone with some pretty blues and silvers. And right here, this is more of like, I would consider this to be warm, but grungy, like a grungy warm if that makes any sense. And then this is your true warm tone little section. And then you have some really fun like duo crumbs down here some purples. Like I said, don't know if the colors go right with whatever because I don't know. I've never watched Game of Thrones ever. So just overall looking at the palette, it looks very, very gorgeous. I feel like there is a couple of shades that really stand out to me that I feel are unique. But I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you guys. I feel like I have a lot of the shades in this palette. I feel like a lot of the colors that I have, like I have so many palettes and I feel like I could pretty much dupe this whole palette. Like I said, there are a few unique shades, but overall, is it something that I needed? No, but I am a makeup lover in general and I am a makeup collector as well. And I feel like this is not gonna be a palette for someone that's just going in and trying to find a palette every day for work or something. This is obviously for a makeup junkie or for someone that is obsessed with Game of Thrones or for someone that is just into 
limited edition products just if you're into packaging i feel like this is a cool staple to have not like a staple i feel like this is just cool to have in your collection to set up on your vanity but i just feel like a lot of people are going to want this to say oh i have that limited edition palette from urban decay i don't think like the everyday mom or the everyday Unless you're a fan of Game of Thrones, but I don't feel like it, someone like every day for work appropriate is going to go in and be like, oh yeah, this is the palette. Like, no. For me personally, I am a makeup collector and a, just a makeup junkie and lover in general. First of all, I feel like Game of Thrones is something that I would get into later. Not right now. I don't, I don't have the time to do it, honestly. But also, I'm just a makeup collector. So now all of that aside, let's go ahead and get into the palette. Again, this is what the palette looks like. Honestly, I wanted to do something different and unique, like creating a look. But with the red lip I have going on, this section right here is really speaking to me, this warm section. But I wanted to use, I wanted to use this color up here because it's really unique. It's really pretty. Um, I have watched a few reviews. I'm not going to lie, but it's not going to like change the way that I feel about it. But the reason I was wanting to mention that is from a part of some of the reviews I have watched, a lot of people said that this particular shade was hard to work with. It was chunky. But we will go ahead and get started. And I'm going to be using a mirror. I don't have like a mirror in front of me, so I'm going to be using this tart, my Tartus palette, the contour palette, the Park Avenue Princess. I love this palette. I rave about it all the time, but I'm just using it as a mirror, so I hope that doesn't get on your all's nerves. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by going in again with this warm section, and I'm going to take this peachy shade right here, and it is called House Lannister, I'm pretty sure. And I'm going to take that as a transition shade. That's hard for me to say. I'm going to take that as a transition shade and just apply it all over my crease and blend it up a little bit. If you watch some of my tutorials before, I like my shade to be more up. I don't like to keep them that low. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that in my crease. I will say me tapping in the palette, it's not really picking up that much powder. I mean, obviously you can tell that I have dipped into it, but it's nothing like an Anastasia palette where you tap, barely tap in and it's like a powder explosion. It's nothing like that. And I feel like, um, with Urban Decay palettes, I sometimes get that a lot. So that's, uh, shocking to me that it hasn't like, Anastasia has to be the worst for that. Like, the powder just gets everywhere. It gets all over my clothes. Even though I do enjoy those palettes, I don't get as excited for her um, palette releases just because the formula is so powdery, but that's off topic. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my crease. And excuse if you can see where this eye looks like it has a little mascara. When I was doing my makeup and my highlighter and everything, I started putting mascara on. I was like, no, wait, I can't do that. I've got to do my eyeshadow on camera. So, sorry about that. So, if you're watching this video, let me know in the comments, is this a palette that you're going to pick up? And I want to know if you're going to pick it up. Are you a fan of Game of Thrones or not? Or are you just picking it up because you're a collector or it just looks cool? Let me know in the comments below. This palette retails for a good, was it $65, I'm pretty sure, but I had some Ulta points and I used it, and I, I've ended up paying like $50 for it because I didn't, normally I don't use my points that fast just for like $17. Usually I'll save them up, but I was like, I really don't want to pay $65 right now for a palette, and I know $50 is not that much better. But, I don't know, I, I didn't want to spend it. I feel like just with my makeup collection right now and how, like, my makeup situation's going, I just feel like I'm to the point, like, I don't need any more palettes. So, it was hard for me to buy another eyeshadow palette, but, I mean, it wasn't hard for my, like, my soul or anything. I, I love it, but, I mean, like, money-wise, I was like, I don't need to spend it on another palette. So, this shade, it's not giving me any issues. It's blending out well. I have been pretty much on YouTube constantly. Like, I haven't had anything to do. And I've been, I could have watched Game of Thrones, obviously. But I've been watching, like, the James Charles drama. And I thought I would touch on it just a little bit. <sighs> I was, like, I'm disappointed. James Charles has always been, I, I'm off topic, guys. I know I'm supposed to be talking about that. We'll get to that. I feel like James Charles has always been a huge inspiration to me personally. Um, I remember, like, when his palette came out, I called Ulta, like, two or three times to make sure that they had it because I live kind of far away. Not, like, extremely far, but I kind of, it's a good drive for me to go to Ulta to pick up a palette. So, I just wanted to make sure that they had it, and I knew I wanted to pick it up that day that it came out. Huge inspiration to me. I loved James, I don't know if you said love, loved James Charles. And another thing I wanted to mention on was his videos just made me... In, 
Like, they put me in a better mood is what I'm trying to say. And I remember when I worked, obviously, I don't know if, like, I don't work anymore. And I haven't worked in a while. It's been a long while, actually. But I would be so depressed about going into my job that before work every day, my husband would pretty much drive me to work when he could. And before I would go in, I would listen to James Charles, his, like, his little song with his Morphe palette when it came out. And it was like, oh. And I would listen to it, like, like, I'm telling you, I probably listened to it 20 times before I actually went into work. And I don't know why, but it was just an inspiration to me. It gave me hope for some reason. And I know that that sound, may sound weird or funny or, like, stupid, but it gave me hope. And I would, I would literally walk around my job and I'd be like, I'd be like breathing and I'd be like, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. So, like, that was a part of my life. Like, every day, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not kidding with you guys. Every day before I went into work, I would listen to that over and over and over. I had it on my husband's phone. I had it on my phone. And he would just laugh at me like it was funny. But I was like, here it is. And he would go, oh. Can't sing. You know what I'm talking about, though? Like, the Morphe, like the, like the little theme song with his palette. I just I loved it. So I feel like it's really, really sad, and I feel like, I hate saying it, I don't want to talk bad about anybody, but I feel like he's just turned into a brat, a true brat, I feel like. And I love Tati, I feel so sorry for Tati because you can tell she really is hurt and she really did love him, or maybe does love him, I don't know, but very, very sad situation in my opinion, and I've been seeing like the numbers, like hers is going way up and his is going way down, and like I just feel like it's overall sad. I wish it had never happened in the first place. A huge inspiration, and I just, like I don't want to see anybody fall. Like I don't care, like even if I see people like, I was talking about this with my husband. I know I'm off topic, but this is something I feel like I want to get off my chest. Like, I really, I really do want to say it. Um, I'm somebody that, I don't care how mean a person has ever been to me in my life. I never want to see them fail. I, I always want to, I would pray for them. Like, I'm going to get, like, I'm going to cry. I'm going to get emotional, but I never want to see anybody down or fall. I, like, I always want to pick them up. I don't care if they're mean to me or not. And... I just feel like the whole situation is sad because, I mean, like I said, I don't want to see anybody go down. But I've had people in my life that's been downright mean to me, that thought they were better than me, that didn't want to speak to me. But whatever the circumstances is, I, I always want the best for them. Like, and people's not like that. People don't want to see you succeed no matter what it is in life. Whatever aspect in life it is, nobody ever wants to see you succeed. That's the cold, hard truth in this world. Nobody, it's just, nobody does. And that is a shame. That's a shame. I don't care. I love to see people. I love to see people thriving and just doing good in their life and like getting things that they want and not necessarily materialistic items. Like if, if they got a job or if it's just blessings, blessings. I'm going off on a tangent, but I mean like I, I'm seriously like sometimes I like talk with my husband pretty much all the time and I'm like, I don't understand people. And he's like, we're not supposed to understand. That's something that he says to me. But I'm like, people don't want to see you do good. And it's 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 not just where I live. It's it's everywhere. Overall, like, I, feel like, I don't want to, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, Team Tati. But, like, overall, I just wanted to, like, speak my piece. And I feel like it is wrong. But I, hope, I do believe that people can change. And I hope that he does. Because it's just really sad. I don't want to see anybody fall. Apart from that, I'm going to go ahead and start blending this. I'm sorry, guys. By the way, I don't know if I said it or not, but this color is blending out really nice. It's a nice transition. I can't say that word. Nice transition shade. And again, I do take it a lot higher than a lot of people. I just like my eyeshadow looks higher than lower. <laughs> and it's not patchy. It's not streaky. It's just blending out really nice. So now I think I'm going to go in to this darker shade right here. And this is called Lannister Red. This one right here. And I'm going to take that. And I am going to bring this just a little bit lower. But I'm going to blend that in my crease. I love this color. Sorry, guys, if I am angled a little bit different. My mom called and I had to turn off my phone. But uh, I'm just still going in with that Lannister Red shade and putting that in my crease. 
My balgan is absolutely killing me. And if you guys don't know why I wear this balgan, I'm just a hat person in general. And I do wear a lot of hats. But I'm trying to hold off and get my hair done because I'm going to New York at the end. And I'm like, Ugh. I don't want to have to get it twice this month because I usually get silver. It's like a grayish silver. And when I do that, it tends to fade out really fast. So I need to try out some different purple shampoos because the one that I'm using is just not cutting it for me. But that's the reason I'm wearing my hat. My roots are awful. They are terrible. And I'm ashamed of them. So that's why I wear my hat. But honestly, I know that if I did have my hair done anyway, I would probably be wearing a hat still because I'm just a hat person. But I feel like... When you know my hair is bad to the point I can't do nothing with it when I'm constantly wearing a hat, like all the time, you know it's bad. So I should be going here pretty soon. I know I say that in every video, but I go to New York, May 31st is when we go to New York. So I'm trying to hold off a little bit before then because I want it to look freshly done. Love this shade, love this shade. Again, this is not a palette that I'm going to constantly grab for. This is a collector's piece. I'm going to set it up on my vanity or whatever. But so far, it's blended out really nice. I love the way that it looks. And like I said, I wanted to do a look that would go well with my red lip because I love this red lip. So now I want to focus on the lid and then we'll go back in the crease here in a bit. I think I'm going to go up to this section right here and I'm going to take Winterfell, I'm pretty sure. I guess, and I'm going to use my finger and apply this all over my lid. I'm going to go ahead and see how it feels. It doesn't feel, well, my, it feels, oh, okay, okay, a little, oh, like, it feels really smooth to the touch, but it feels like it's crumbly a little bit, like it's really, really soft to the point it's crumbly. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take this and apply it to my lid. And again, I'm someone, I'm a big believer that shimmer shades and metallic shades just apply better with your finger than a brush. Oh my, oh. Can you see that? Are you kidding me? I would pay $65 for a single shadow that looks like this. I'm not even kidding. I'm going to apply some more like over here where I need a little bit more, but this is at... I got some fallout with it. I'm not going to lie. You may be able to see here in a second. I'll do a close-up, but this is absolutely gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. You need this. I'm not going to say you need the whole palette, especially if you're just like, I don't like Game of Thrones and that's chunky packaging and whatever, but this shade is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not kidding you. I'm not bullshitting you. If I didn't like it, I would let you know, but I absolutely love this shade. If I had a pair of lashes... That's what I'm missing. I never have lashes, and it really makes your eyelids pop. There for the longest time, I wasn't wearing lashes. And actually, when I started working at Ulta, I really got into lashes. One of the girls started, like, we putting lashes on me and stuff. But absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend this. I'm not going to say I recommend the whole palette just for this. But, guys, the quality on this is not doing me wrong. It's just not. I can't get over this shade. It is absolutely stunning. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, don't worry, I'm going to brush this fallout away with a brush. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to work on the lower lash line. And I know that this is a very simple, easy look, but it looks like really flashy and that's what I like. So I'm just going to take the same shades that we used in our crease and apply it to my lower lash line. I'm going in with that peachy transition shade. And then I'm going in with that dark Lannister red and just smoking it out. I really blowed that out and I brought it down a little bit further. That's just personally what I like. I like it to look very smoky and airbrushed. Very, uh, very pretty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my fingers and I'm going to take this shade down here that's in that warm section that we use. And it's called King's Landing and it's like this yellowy gold. And I'm going to pop this in the inner corner. And to do that, I'm just going to use my finger. This is what it looks like. This is going to be pretty intense, I can tell. Very smooth to the touch, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this. I love this. Absolutely love it. So now I'm going to pop some, some, uh, so now I'm going to pop some mascara on really fast. I feel like I need lashes, but I don't have any at the minute. I need lashes. This would have been boom if I'd have had lashes, but we're going to work with what we got. So this is what my eyes looking like. I don't know if you can tell very well because of my, my phone, but 
this is what it's looking like. It looks very nice in person. I don't know how it's looking on camera because I can't really zoom on my phone like as I'm filming I can't zoom. But that's what it looks like. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off the camera. Look how funny that looks like. This one looks like it's like it's hanging. My eye looks like it's hanging over here. But I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off the camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back and I have finished my eyes and this is a close up of them. If you see this right here, this is on my finger. I accidentally smeared my lipstick off. I moved my mouth a certain way and I went like this and I touched it. So, sorry about that. It's my mistake. It's my fault. Nothing to do with the lipstick. Plainly, it was me. But, this is what the eyes look like. I absolutely love it. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that they blend. They're not overly powdery. And the metallic shades didn't really give me that much trouble at all. They didn't really give me any trouble at all. The only recommendation that I would say is if you're going to do your eyes, I would do them first before your foundation and stuff because you do get a good amount of fallout with those chunkier metallic shades. But overall, I absolutely love it. And you know, I was absolutely crazy over that lid shade. But also the inner corner shade, it has like a yellowy gold and it's very reflective and very bright. So it's very good for the inner corners. But other than that, everything that I've used in the palette, I really do enjoy it. I love the way that this look has turned out. This is something that I would wear a lot, but I'm someone I wear a lot of flashy looks, not just neutral, you know, I wear whatever I want. But the only thing that I think is missing is I need some lashes to really make it pop. But other than that, I absolutely love it. Quality wise, I do recommend it. I think it's really nice, guys. I'm not going to lie. But practicality, I don't think a lot of people's going to want it for the packaging and things like that. Obviously, a lot of people did want it because everything fucking sold out. But what I'm trying to say is if you're like, just want a new neutral palette. I just don't feel like this is going to attract everybody's attention. I have seen a lot of people say that they're not going to get it or don't want it. And I completely understand that. This to me is more so of a collector's piece. And just say, you know, it's a collector's piece. But the quality, they did not skip out on that. The quality is absolutely amazing. I really do enjoy it. I will say something, and I'm not going to lie. I feel like the packaging is really cool on this. But this is the hardest thing to get it back to, like, slide in. Like, I'm struggling. I've been off camera trying to get it back in. And I don't know if it's because I'm a dumbass or what. But I honestly, I can't get it back in. It's very hard for me. See, and then you can get, like, half of it. But then the other half won't go. So, there it goes. There it goes. I got it. And I got mascara all over my hand too. But this is it. This is the Game of Thrones collection. The highly anticipated collection that everybody wanted. And it sold out really, really fast. And it was hard for everybody to get. I swear to you, I was pissed off at Urban Decay. Because I was going to buy the vault. My hat's killing me. I like to be boof. But I was going to get the vault. And I'm telling you, it was like up for five minutes. And everything was gone. And then it didn't come out when it was supposed to come out. And I was like, I sit up all night for this. Urban Decay does palettes like this a lot when it comes to movies. And I just wanted to mention this really quick. Because it has a similar vibe. They came out with the Alistair the Looking Glass palette. And the only reason I wanted to mention it is it's something that's similar to that packaging wise. Because this opens up and then you have this little butterfly that you're never going to use. This. It's just aesthetically pleasing is all it is and then again these pull out here at the bottom and you have your shades very very similar to the game of thrones just you know it's shaped different but i just wanted to mention that because it is something that they have done before i want some lashes but other than that that was my game of thrones palette review i hope you guys enjoyed i do want to pick up the eyeliners that is something i'm definitely wanting the highlighters i feel like that highlighting palette i feel like i have that already in the urban decay singles i do have their little single highlighters and they pretty much look the same it's nothing unique it, that's just very pretty packaging it's supposed to have like a feel to it so the, I don't think I'm going to pick that up. The thing that's really speaking to me besides the eyeshadow palette was the liners. And I'm on the hunt for those. Those look so unique. There is a shade that's similar to the color that I have on my lid. <laughs> and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and the subscribers. And I know I'm a smaller channel. It really does. It honestly means the world to me. If I get a new comment or like a, a new subscriber or something, I start crying. And I'm not being, like I'm being dead serious with you guys. I start talking to my husband. I'm like, somebody's watching my video. Video. And I just, it honestly, it really does mean the world to me. And I hope you guys know that I truly do appreciate it. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.